Hey guys, how you doing? Now it's been a while since I've uh, had uh, any videos to do with my uh, my Celestron Rasa and uh, Astro Imaging um, setup, and it doesn't mean I haven't been doing it. Um, I've just been sort of teething the process of getting used to the ASI Air, how that performs, and um, getting used to the uh, the F2 optics and the uh, ZWO um, cooled camera. So we've got a beautiful, uh, nice, clear um, night tonight. So I figured today it's about time we done one of these videos and uh, and did some imaging with this guy here. Now I've got the Celestron Rasa 8 inch um, F2 with the old Celestron C gem mount. Um, very old mount. <laughs> this this old girl here but it still works uh, quite nicely. Uh, i got the ZWO um, ASI Air running the system pretty much with a Skywatcher Evo Star 50ED um, guide scope and a, a ZWO um, guider. But uh, I'll just walk you around the, uh, the setup a little bit and uh, we'll see how we go. Alright, guys, so let's talk about my guide scope setup. So I've got a Skywatcher Evo Guide 50ED um, connected to an, a ZWO ASI 290 Mini um, camera there. I wanted this, a, uh, a camera that was slightly bit more sensitive and also wanted a uh, guide scope that had slightly better optics in it. Um, and I got all this mounted to a 8-inch uh, Rasa um, dovetail plate, uh, which also helps with some of the cable management, um, especially with the power cord going to my main camera. I just um, wind it around a couple of the knobs here, which keeps it nice and, uh, and secure there. Um, I also wanted to mount the um, guide rings directly to the uh, plate itself. So I've drilled a couple of holes in the plate here for the uh, the screws to go in so it's uh, mounted quite nicely um, uh, to the uh, scope itself. Alright, so from the guide scope here, I've got the ZWO ASI Air mounted. And I've actually um, heat glued this. Uh, to the dovetail plate and it fits in there quite nicely um, and then as you can see I've got the uh, cable that runs from my ASI um, 290 Mini down and plugs into the uh, ASI Air here as well as another cable that plugs into the main camera and then I've got another USB connector which plugs into the um, bottom of the hand controller now the hand controller is the old style hand controller so it doesn't have the uh, USB connection All right, so on the front of my RASA here, I've got the uh, ZWO ASI 294 MC Pro. Um, the reason I went for this camera here is because it's it's large pixel size. Uh, I knew with an F2 scope, I'd be capturing a lot of light really, really quick. And I didn't want to oversaturate um, a lot of stars, um, bright nebulas and all that sort of thing really, really quickly. So um, although it's not quite sampling to, um, the uh, the Rasa here, I just wanted to see um, how well it would go. I might even uh, change the camera sometime in the future to maybe the um, uh, 183, I think it is, um, which has a better sampling rate um, than this camera here. Uh, I've also made up this little jig, maybe if you want to call it that, um, just to see how how it goes. It's just made out of mat board, uh, similar sort of mat board as as I do for my picture framings, um, you know, for some of those uh, prints I've got there. And I've just cable tied, and, um, or just tied the uh, cables to it running off in a bit of an L shape um, sort of pattern there, which gives me a four spike uh, diffract, um, diffraction. So uh, hopefully that works out um, a little bit nicer than just cables running everywhere. And if that's the case, and, and I'm really happy with it, I might even, um, maybe get something like that made out of something a bit hardier rather than this um, mat board here but uh, I think it will do the trick so yeah all right so all I'm gonna do now is just uh, wait for uh, to get a little bit darker and then I'll run through the processes that I found using the ASI Air um, with an iPad controlling it and um, the old CGEM uh, mount Still a bit blue light at the moment, but the stars are starting to come out. So let's see if we can uh, 
use the ASI Air to polar align this mount and get all that set up um, before it gets real dark and we don't waste too much uh, imaging time. So uh, let's get this uh, plugged in, turned on and off and running. All right, now one of the things that I found when um, running the ASI Air with this old um, Substron CGM mount and the old hand controller is to um, set your hand controller up to quick align. Okay, so just gonna hit enter, um, set index, um, set to index so the index markers. So enter to confirm that. The time, so just gonna go use my iPad here correct and I'm just going to head down to quick align and it says align success now I'm just going to open up my ASI Air um, app again hit uh, polar alignment and it's just saying um, uh, push the start button to begin the process so it's just taking a quick photo right now um, plate solving that took two seconds to do and now it should start to um, rotate. All right, so it's just um, slewed itself uh, to 60 degrees and it's just taken another photograph to see how much adjustment needs to be made for polar alignment. Okay, and it turns out I'm a fair bit out. So all I'm gonna do now is adjust the um, old as, um, azimuth and latitude adjustments and try and get, I don't know if you can see it, this little yellow um, target it's into the center of the green spot there. So it might take a little bit Alright, so I've just finished it and it's come up with a global ranking of 294 defeated 39% of ASI Air users. I don't know, that'll do. It's an old mount and it's a bit of a pain with the adjustments. I have added some Teflon between um, the mountain head and the um, uh, tripod just to try and help it um, move about a bit easier when I do make those fine adjustments. But... Uh, Pretty happy with that so what we're going to do now is find ourselves a target to go shoot um now being i'm here in a very light polluted part of uh, adelaide um and limited a little bit to um where i can shoot i'm going to go for the um tarantula nebula which is uh ngc 2070 so all i'm going to do is just double tap on an NGC 2070 and hit go to and it's going to begin to go to that took a couple of test shots realigned and centered it now this it's a little bit out but not too much I'm actually quite happy with it still and I've just um, focused in and now I'm ready to sit inside and relax the fact that I can now control this whole system from inside the house is uh, is so so good, and uh, I'm really really loving this little system here. So with all that being said, I'm going to um, take a whole bunch of exposures, see how they go in this uh, light polluted area, and yeah, Astro never been so easy. So I just thought I'd uh, quickly touch on how the uh, imaging session's going and it seems to be going really, really well. This whole system has just been work working flawlessly. I've been sitting inside, imaging, watching a movie, making sure it's all still good and it's, it's fantastic. I really do like this system. Uh, but I've been taking three sets of uh, exposures, um, 30 seconds, 300 seconds, and now it's doing 600 seconds. So I've got about seven more images to, to do, and then I'm all nice and complete. Um, see no Orion is uh, rising um, just, to the, just to the left of me. I might slew across to that 
and take a few uh, quick exposures of that as well, providing that um, I can get that done before moonrise. Um, so with all that being said, uh, I hope you guys really, really enjoy this video. If you want to see what continually happens and what sort of images I end up producing with this system over time, please subscribe. Um, give me a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments about um, what, what you see in front of you here or anything else, please let me know. All right. Well, until next time, guys, take it easy.